Welcome to Illumine, our grade 12 summative project coded in Visual Basic 6. It's a teaching application that is currently set up for teaching grade 9 mathematics, but it could be adapted to nearly any material. Please note there are still some minor bugs present in this video. To log in, students enter their username, which is the first three letters of their last name, followed by the first three of their first name, and a password. If there are multiple students with the same username, a number is added to the end. Once logged in, students can edit their passwords, start playing, or exit. Clicking play brings the user to the main menu. To select the lesson to begin, the user may click the owl and then select the lesson from the list that is displayed. The lesson page contains information, graphics, and sample problems. The answers to these problems can be found by clicking the Show Solution button. Clicking the Next or Previous buttons changes the pages, or you can type in the page number. When ready, click the Start the Quiz button. The quizzes are multiple choice, except in the final quiz, a box will appear at the bottom if the question requires work to be shown. The student goes to the randomly chosen questions. In this case, the student achieved a score of 0%. 80% is required to unlock the next lesson in quiz. In almost all windows, there is a drop-down menu at the top of the screen that allows users to return to the menu or access help information. Clicking the squirrel will display the list of available quizzes. Help can also be accessed by clicking the question mark on the menu. Clicking the pond opens the frog menu. The user has several options of what to do. The high scores form is adaptable to any game, i.e. it can have a varied number of columns. Clicking new game will start a new session. The frog can be hopped using the arrow keys on the keyboard and the objective is to land on the landing pads on the far side. I died here because this was the incorrect pad. The user must select the pad that is the answer to the presented question. There is also a time limit of 60 seconds and the user has 3 lives. The score is shown in the top left. The pause menu is in the bottom right corner. Hitting the cars or jumping in the water will also result in death. Note, the high score is saved to the file. The battleship game can be accessed by clicking the River of the Forest menu. This game requires two order players to, in order to play on the network. Players currently in the lobby are displayed in the Dropbox, and when a student is selected, their information is displayed and they can be invited to a game. When the game begins, your ships must be placed by clicking and dragging. They can be rotated by simultaneously clicking the rightmost button. When finished, lock in your ships and wait for your opponent to do the same. In this case, the opponent is going first, because the sign is behind their name. The opponent fired and missed, displayed by the splash icon on our grid. To choose where to fire, click the block on the grid. Sometimes the question will pop up, as it did here, and it will say answer correctly proceed. Once you've taken aim, select the fire button to shoot. In this case, we hit their ship, indicated by the X icon on the opponent's grid. The winner is the first to hit all of their opponent's ships. This concludes the student section of the application. However, there are many things the teacher can do, too. When the teacher logs in, they are presented with a simple menu. Selecting the View Student Progress button brings up the student information form. Students can be selected from the drop-down box, but also added or deleted. Got a new student, enter a first name and a last name. An optional password can also be entered. And then select Update. The student is then assigned a username. lessons will bring up information on how the student has done in their quizzes, i.e. scores, um, and what questions they answered correct and incorrect. The student has not done any lessons yet, so no information is available here. Clicking the Unlock Lessons will create a pop-up that allows the user to enter which lesson they wish to have set to complete it. The Other Teacher application can be accessed by clicking the Edit button. First, select the lesson from the box, and then select a lesson or a quiz. Pages of lessons can be viewed by clicking the list of pages. From here, the teacher can edit page contact, select a matching image, and enter the sample problems. Pages can also be added or deleted. The 
The order of the pages can also be changed by moving pages up or down on the list. When quizzes are selected, the questions going with that quiz are displayed. They can be also added or deleted. Clicking the questions in the list will bring up the question, correct answer, and incorrect answers that can be displayed in the multiple choice options. With the final quiz, it can be made a requirement for the student to show work. When a question is deleted, it can be undeleted by checking the deleted box. If the question is a word problem, the program will give a warning to the user. The word problem checkbox should be checked for word problems. This is to ensure that long word problems do not appear in games. Thank you for checking out our project.